Hello, amazing authors. Yesterday in our writing workshop, day one uh, of this unit that we call the writerly life, we focused on the habits that writers have and the number one habit is writers write. Um, but there are a lot of other things that writers do. You know, we talked, I talked yesterday a little bit about uh, writers noticing things and using their senses and, and uh, writing about those things, reflecting on those things. Well, uh, today we get to cover one of my very favorite topics, um, and that is writers are creative. Writers use their creativity to produce writing and to, to do their craft. Um, I'm especially uh, happy because I get to share a book. Writers also read. Writers read with the eyes of writers, and they study other writers. I'm especially happy because I, I'm going to be sharing a book with you by one of my favorite children's book authors, Chris Roshka, about one of my favorite musicians, Thelonious Monk. So uh, it's a really cool book. It's super short and very, very creative. Um, you may have seen some books by Chris Roshka before. Um, he's got Yo Yes, A Ball for Daisy, The Hello Goodbye Window, um, uh, Daisy Gets Lost, and numerous other books. He's an author illustrator. Um, so sometimes he's only illustrating and someone else writes the story. Sometimes he's only the author and someone else does the pictures, but oftentimes he does both. Um, and a little bit about Thelonious Monk. He was a jazz pioneer in the in the 1950s and uh, he was known for uh, being quite eccentric, which means uh, a little bit strange, but also very, very, very gifted in uh, composing music and playing piano, and he had a very interesting style of playing piano for all you piano players out there. Um, he, he played the piano with splayed fingers, so his fingers were straight when he played the piano instead of curved like your piano teachers are teaching you. Um, it's kind of interesting, but uh, we're focused on the creativity that uh, Chris Roshka uh, gives us in his book here, Mysterious Thelonious. Um, and it's a little book, as you can see, not very big, uh, but it is neat nonetheless. And um, when we finish this video, I'm going to encourage you to tap into your own creativity and do a little writing today. Uh, you probably won't have too much time, but if you get excited about what you're writing, you can always take it and pick it up again later. Um, so this is Mysterious Thelonious, written and illustrated by Chris Roshka. Mysterious Thelonious. And here is the piano, and you can see this grid pattern. And this is, um, it says, for Dick, John, Dick Jackson on his dedication page. Okay, so right here, if you've ever read music, you can see it almost looks like music, and the words are actually broken up on the page. Um, and so it's it looks kind of like notes on a musical staff. And there's a picture of the piano, and it's a, there's a lot of movement in the imagery. This is a story about the... And it carries on to the next page. Thelonious Monk and his music. So you see how creative Chris Roshka is being? Um, oh, I had a little Thelonious Monk to play in the background while I was reading. I forgot. Let's see if it, let's see if you can hear it. I'm not sure if it'll let me record this audio. We'll try. All right. So that's Thelonious in the background, if you can hear it. Um, there were no wrong notes on his piano. Had no wrong notes. Oh, no. So Chris Roshka is a fan of jazz music, and uh, you can see that... Uh, there's a lot of improvisation in the writing and, and a lot of creativity in how the book unfolds. Um, he, he, doubled, he did some double meaning on the end of the word piano, so there were no wrong notes on his piano. And then he goes, uh, no, piano had no wrong notes. 
Oh no. I like to play on words. And I encourage you to play with words when you're writing. This is a story about the lovely music of Mr. Monk. You can see there's someone who almost looks like they're dancing. Uh, there's another piano on the page. He played not one wrong note, not one. His piano had none, not one. He played the music of freedom. There's some meaning in that um, that we can we can talk about even in today's context, but uh, there's something about jazz music in, in general that uh, celebrates freedom. Jazz is the music of freedom. This is a picture about his music. I sure hope you can hear the music. I like it. Um, I always have. Oh, so mysterious, Thelonious, mysterious, the low, Neus, mysterious, Thelonious, mysterious, oh, so. So, uh, one of the things that jazz music is known for is variations on a theme. So, you've got a, a pattern that sort of changes just a little bit but you can recognize the pattern throughout the song and that's what he's doing that's what chris roshka is doing with the words in this book inspired by an artist that he likes thelonious monk this is a story about his music so you can see as a writer, Chris Roshka, there aren't a lot of words in this book, but the way that he used the words was really powerful and super duper creative. And uh, no one's asking you to be Chris Roshka, but we are asking you to make, make an effort. Just try, try to be creative, tap into um, some instincts that you might already have, or maybe you wanna develop um, and uh, try out uh, doing something different for once. Hope you liked it. I love this book. I love Chris Roshka. I love Thelonious Monk, and I love writing. I hope you you uh, enjoy it and you're inspired. Have a great day. You're doing great, by the way. Keep up the good work.